Good, everybody. It's Duke Mo here from Hollow Art. Um, and before we uh, get started, please like, share, subscribe to all things Hollow Art. Um, and also make sure you download the Sunflower by Rob Savage because if you don't, you're gonna miss an amazing interview by the lovely Dope the Model. Hey, um, y'all give it up for Dope the Model. <laughs> all right, so uh, first of all, you look amazing, so thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, so, how you doing? I'm doing well. Okay, um, welcome back, because you came here for a game show in the past. And, yeah, did. You know, did your team win, or did y'all? No. Well, <laughs> you know, well, thank you anyway for participating in that. Um, but before we go any further, please look at this camera right here and tell us what it is that you do. So I am a model. I own a modeling school called DTM Modeling School. Also, I own a management team called Dopest Management. Okay, all right. Um, how'd you get started? In all of it, the modeling and the management and everything else. So it started when I was 16. Um, I started modeling with um, Bella Modeling Agency here in Columbia. Um, from there, I was the walking coach. And then from there, I started my own modeling school, which was last year, November 2021. And then this year, I started my own management company called Dopest Management. OK, that's dope. Um, who are some of your biggest influences and inspirations in, in all of this, too? I would say my kids, because without them, I wouldn't be doing any of this. <laughs> all right. Um, where did your stage name come from? And I understand there's a meaning behind some of that, right? Yes. So what, tell us about that. So my stage name is Dope, D-O-P-E, and the D stands for Determined, the O stands for Optimistic, the P stands for Photogenic, and the E stands for Emerald, which is my real name. Oh, all right, that's dope, all right. Now we know your real name. <laughs> um, talk to us about the, um, the DTM Modeling School. Talk to us about your modeling school. So DTM Modeling School was brought up last year, November 2021. I started off with, I'll say about two, three models. Then we expanded, you know, over a couple of months, and now we have about ten models. Okay. So, is it going well? You like it's it? It's going great. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Um, so, you did you always want to be like a teacher type thing as far as modeling, or is it just something that you just, you know, you was just hunger and you just what made you do that? Um. So I I wanted to be a top model. I, I actually wanted to be Tyra Banks, okay. but um, because of my height and my size, I knew, you know, it wasn't all that possible. So I decided to start a school so one of the models in my school or all of them could be a top model. Oh, okay, great. So what's, um, talk to us about your management. The dopest, was dope. DTM management dope? No, it's just dopest management. Dope? Tell, <laughs> tell us about dopest management. All right, so I now have four artists. I have a sing, uh, two, two singers and two rappers. Um, my first one that signed, her name is Yumi, and she's the top one right now, the okay. first lady. Okay, dope, okay. Um, and so your model, which we know, but do you have like a specific type of like a favorite photo shoot that you like to do? Is that something that matters to you? It For you, like a personal? Personally, no. I love just taking pictures in general, so anything, Anything is possible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, what, what are current or future projects are you working on? Current and future projects. So, <laughs> current projects, um, I have, this is for DTM or Dopest Management? Or, all of or it. All you, of it. Okay. Dope, period. <laughs> so, for DTM, um, we have Sumter Fashion Week coming up um, Saturday. We're going to New York Fashion Week next year. I haven't let anybody know yet, but we're going to... Paris Fashion Week. Exclusive, you see as that? Well. And also for Dopest Management, I have my artist um, Yumi performing at two other events coming up. Oh, wow. Congratulations. We'll be on the um, lookout for those. Make sure, you know, if you give us the dates, we'll plug them in on the interviews. And of course, you know, we follow your social media, so we'll right. uh, support that. But congratulations, man. That's, that's, a, that's a lot. Um, a little bit off business. What's, your, what's currently on your music playlist? Cause you know we do music. Oh, <laughs> a 
pop music and R and B. Well, other than Rob Savage, I mean, what what type? What, what type of pop? What type of R and B? Who like um, you got some artists or something? Or you just yeah, like Billie Eilish. Oh wow, that's my favorite. <laughs> that might be our first time ever getting her. Uh, <laughs> so we also do film too. So that's how we music and film. So we always like like to ask because we do comedy. What's your favorite comedy movie of all time? Uh, I would say of all times, I would say How High. Okay. <laughs> Cause of the whole New York element to it, or is it just whatever? I guess because the first time I seen it was when I was in New York, so yeah. and I was like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right. So, what's your favorite movie of all time? Not even comp, just period. Do movie you have one? Of all time? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, cause I don't think I have a favorite movie. I don't really watch TV because I don't have time. Okay. So it's like, yeah. all right. So. <laughs> You probably got one. If you think of something, let me know before the interview is over. I will. Um, if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would it be? Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. Wow, okay. Hey, y'all give it up for Marilyn Monroe. R.I.P., but yeah. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> she was an actress. She was a model. She was a dancer. She was a singer. She was everything that I want to be. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's the first time we ever got that. But do you have any advice for someone who, anyone who want to be in a similar position like you, managing, modeling, any of that? Do you have any advice for those people like that? I would say that you could be anybody you want to be or do anything you want to do. You just got to put your mind to it and do it. All work, no sleep. Um, is there anything that we did not ask you that you want to talk about? I don't think so, no. Okay. Um, do you have any final shout outs? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my artist Yumi and my assistant Natasha and then the whole DTM. Okay, shout out DTM. Uh, oh, and <laughs> shout out DTM. Y'all give it up to the whole DTM. So are you based out of Orangeburg or are you just everywhere? I, I actually do mo majority of the stuff in Orangeburg, but we travel all over. Okay. Yeah. All right, we definitely got to make it out there at some point, man. Chris, you know how busy we are. Uh, and usually we always ask if you want to perform, but no, you know how to perform. However, we understand you got an artist in the building. Yes. Can she do something for us tonight? Is that okay? Yes, she All can. All right, that's dope. Um, so we'll be seeing an artist in a little bit, but y'all give it up for Dope the Model.
came from me. I could get it together. Try to get it all together. You could wait for me. I could get it together. Go find you one better. I'm sorry.